Hi, hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Now today, this video is dedicated to Bitfinex, New York AG probe, right? So, and what does it mean then for crypto overall? Because the market is reacting, right? And um, it is down by about like 5% down, right? So still not major down, but still it is having an effect. So let's look at it and whether it's warrant that drop, yeah? First we have, right? Um, let's just talk about the context, what actually happened. And it is nicely summarized by Alex Kruger, right? Who's economist. So let's start off with, Bitfinex was accused by the New York um, Attorney General that it says it has 850 million hold. That means it has a liquidity issues since late 2018. And why is that the case? Because that money is stuck with a third party payment processor called crypto capital. But the thing is then crypto capital argued that the money actually has been seized by government authorities, right? And this is frozen there. Doesn't mean it is lost, it just means it's frozen. And of course, meanwhile, the um, they have actually tried. So what happened was because Tether has the same owner as Bitfinex, right? So meanwhile, they have actually transferred $625 million worth of Tether, right? Into Bitfinex accounts, yeah? So it is like a loan, right? Now, the thing is this. Now, the while then what happened was they actually paid, you know, an interest on these loans of 6.5% interest per year, yeah? And this is basically, it's like a revolving line of credit, yeah? So then what happened was in March 2019, Bitfinex and Tether basically debit each other. That means basically, um, uh, how do I say? Uh, Bitfinex have actually given back the money to Tether, right? And the thing is though, the money is still in the, the money which is still is still not taken yet it's not yet taken back it's not yet redeemed from crypto capital the money is still stuck there is basically what's happening right and of course the the terror right because they also have announced that their reserves are not fully backed by USD that means not fully backed by fiat but they, it can be like loan receivables that means it includes the money that is being lent out to uh, Bitfinex as well now of course if everything is good, that means in the case of if Bitfinex continue to make money, right? And if they continue to remain solvent, if they continue to make profit from their trading, from their fees, right? From um, their operations, from the holding of their own coins, then it is fine. But, and of course, as long as the crypto capital doesn't go under, right? It's just that if the money is still frozen, but at some point it can be returned back, then I think there is still... Um, it is still okay. That means still credible that the money is still there, right? But New York AG have stated that actually they are not trying to, you know, disrupt the operations of either Bitfinex or Terra. But what they want to do is they want to have um, transparency. They want to have a more purview. They want to have more clarity on um, what's actually happening in Bitfinex and Terra. So they want to actually obtain documentation from them, including a weekly report. And this is especially related to New York, right? They want to really know, they want to protect the investors of New York. So to the extent how much of it is um, they exposed to fraud, what, what, what the New York AG claim is, and they believe that this um, commingling of funds basically between the two companies, Bitfinex and Tether is basically, you know, um, considered a fraud and it's just more of the usage of the money, yeah? And that is what they are claiming, right? And that is what they are hoping to achieve and not, you know, um, they're not trying to sue or, uh, you know, close down both operations. Now, so um, Alex Kruger also um, highlighted the fact that Tether have actually now said that 75% of their balances of their reserves is backed by USD, which is the currency and cash equivalents, whereas the other 25% is basically the loan secured by shares, which is the the one that you know is being lent out to Bitfinex, and the shares is the basically the um, backed by Bitfinex shares. So as long as Bitfinex continue to be profitable, then these shares is still okay, but then still there's a market demand of these shares, right? So because of that, there is a third party credit risk, yeah? And yeah, and also Tether has not succumbed to market demand to provide any quarterly or even weekly report of what 
is their backing you know what how does their asset backing really look like whereas other stable coins have actually done that but tether is the only one who has not you know succumbed to actually market and the community um, asking for this kind of transparency so what does Bitfinex then have to say to New York Attorney General's actions? So the good thing was Bitfinex, to be fair, they actually um, you know, post the response in their website, official response, quite promptly after the uh, New York Attorney General's actions. And they said that, um, to clarify, they said that New York Attorney General's office, the order was without notice or hearing. So it is not, they, they do not want them to attend hearing. So it is not a court case, but they just want to actually ask them to, you know, comply with some um, information given. Yeah. And what happened was, and then they went on to say that the AG's court filings were written in bad faith and are riddled with false exertions, including as to a purported 850 million loss at crypto capital. He said, on the contrary, we have been informed that these crypto capital amounts are not lost, but have been in fact seized and safeguarded. And they have um, working actively working to exercise their rights and remedies and get those funds released. Sadly, the New York AG's office seems to be intent to undermine those efforts to the detriment of our customers. And then they went on to say that they have been fully cooperative, both Tether and Bifinex, fully cooperative with the AG's office as both companies with all regulators. And um, though at the end they said both Bitfinex and Tether are financially strong and full stop and both Bitfinex and Tether are committed to figuring this gross overreach by the AG's office against companies that are good corporate citizens and strong supporters of law enforcement. And lastly, they end with they will rigorously challenge this and, and any and all other actions by the New York AG's office. So what do I think? Now, this um, this post although it's prompt in you know um coming back with a response to ages uh, actions which is very good but the thing is it is too strong a statement i felt i mean i think regulator is there right that they have acted now the best form of response in my opinion is not to you know be so um uh, how do I say, be so upfront, right, and like openly challenge them. Rather, I think it is best to take a, you know, cooperative stance and kind of like win-win approach to see how, right, they can resolve this issue in a calm manner, right, and in a best for both parties manner, rather than saying, right, they will vigorously challenge is very, very confrontational, very, very like combater kind of response, right, and I think, you know, AG as well, they have a phase, right, kind of a, they have also their ego to protect, right? Because, I mean, and I think this would be just, um, you know, they and they, of course, they can play hardball as well, right? And I think then this is just going to lead to more uh, more dragging and more long, uh, long drawn out kind of battle between SEC and Bitfinex and Terra. Now, of course, I do applaud Bitfinex as well as standing up for what they believe is right. But I think there is a line to be drawn whether you want to be a combater and or you know you can be also a win-win but you know you can still hold your ground right and just uh, play a win-win card right and so so that's the thing that's how i really felt um the other thing is i really like kate long long's reply right because she her response was she said stunned but not surprised because it's very balanced she said that there are two points she want to make there's a big double standard here and two exchanges clean up your acts right cryptographically prove your solvency on the first point she basically said right she asked, why didn't the New York AG throw the Martin at, at Merrill Lynch for doing something actually quite similar from 2009 to 2012? Seriously, why the double standard, right? And that is a very fair point. So she's saying, why is the SEC not going after traditional big giants, but they want to go after Bitfinex and Tether? Um, yeah, so that, I mean, that I think to, in my opinion, again, is quite clear, right? Because this is a new kid on the block and this is still um, industry and a technology which they see as, you know, very, poten very high potential in threatening the traditional world of finance and their own position. And also they do not yet fully understand. So they, they felt threatened because they do not yet know how to control this new world. So it's not a surprise that there's a big double standard here. But yes, it is very good to for Caitlin to highlight this point. Second, I totally agree that, you know, exchanges and terror need to be more transparent because after all, crypto 
is created based on the ideal right of transparency of decentralization of not a decentralized uh, uh, sorry not centralized control so everyone has full transparency of what is going on but the fact that terror is not right consistently and continuously not willing to actually publish their holdings their reserves what it is made of right records um audited records unlike other stable coins then it really posed a doubt right to many people especially those regulators and professional and institutional investors who are so used to you know audits and records yeah so that's all i have right and this is just my views yeah and i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like please subscribe and leave let me know your comments right and uh, but regardless i just hope that this issue and you know will be solved sooner rather than having a long drawn out battle right with that i wish you a great day ahead and thank you so much for your time